Hello, 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 hello. I hope you all are doing good. After a great response to our first episode of That's How It's Done, today we are here to shoot another episode of That's How It's Done. Today we are going to talk about dark side of being a SOC analyst. Don't know what a SOC analyst is? Or what do they do in any organization? No problem. I got you covered. We'll be discussing these questions in our today's episode. So hang in there if you are someone who is looking out to start a career in cyber security as a SOC analyst or just want to know how does it looks like to be in their shoes. So without any delay, let's begin our today's video. But wait, before starting, make sure you are subscribed to the channel to get such videos in your YouTube feed. You know what? I'll wait five seconds to make sure you do that. Do it. Okay, now let's begin. So, let me introduce to our today's guest. He's working as a SOC analyst at ProArc. He is quite active in the cyber security community and a good friend of mine. Lately, he has been working upon some SIM and SOAR tools. Don't know what SIM and SOAR are? Don't worry, we'll be discussing them in our talk ahead. So, let's begin. So, let's welcome Mr. Ankit Khurana. Hello, hi Ankit. Hey, hello Aditya, how are you? I'm doing good, how are you doing? Doing great, man. Doing great. Great. So, uh, first of all, thank you so much for agreeing to do this. It is quite good to see uh, people like you uh, helping to shape us to build the community. So, no worries, man. No worries. Always there for you. Thank you so much, bro. So, uh, let me guide you. Uh, like, let me take you through the format of that's how it's done. So, I'll be asking you a couple of questions related to. Uh, your domain say as of now for today's video we have SOC analyst as a theme as you are already ah, aware okay, okay. Got it, got it. and I'll be asking you five different type of questions there could be follow-up questions uh, like after them and then you'll you you have to provide your point of view and your expertise sure man sure okay so without any delay let's begin our first question for today so my first question to you for today is, uh, first of all, what does a SOC analyst do and what are the job responsibilities? Uh, as a SOC analyst, so basically we have, as a, uh, so we have to protect the company's hardware, software and uh, network from being like attacked by malicious activity. So we have to keep an eye on that. And moreover, like we are the first line of defense. So we have to properly investigate and uh, basically, create, uh, prepare a report for all that uh, mishappening being happened in the this uh, network, company's network, and uh, okay. So I guess when uh, vulnerabilities like log four J, Spring four shell, these are getting discovered, you guys must be the ones who should be, you know, getting. The yeah, man. Yeah. So basically, the uh, we have to keep an eye on that vulnerabilities also. To like basically see any vulnerable is there any any software or any network being vulnerable to these uh, these vulnerabilities? So we have to prepare a basically we have to prepare a rule so that whenever these things attack the network, so uh, the alert get triggered, and we have to investigate accordingly. Okay, I get it. Okay, uh, thank you so much for answering it. Uh, now my second question to you is. Uh, what tools are required in this role? Okay, so like uh, tools required for SOC and which are basically SIEM uh, security, uh, basically SIEM, SOAR and uh, uh, like if you want to uh, like analyze the network packet then Wireshark, Wireshark also. So okay. in SIEM basically we use this Sentinel and uh, Splunk and in as a SOAR basically we use it D3 so that all the processes get automated and basically uh, SOAR is like basically it provides more of a 
like uh, overview from a like it basically uh, provide a better overview than seem for a, for an incident okay so like what has happened and also so I provide a better lab, a better overview or landscape about, about the incident more correctly than seem okay yeah got it uh, so ankit uh, i have one follow up question for this uh, first of all being uh, what exactly a sim is and a sore is like what what do they stand for basically sim is a security information and event management tool uh, where the sore stands for security orchestration and automation and response so basically sim basically does is it it collects logs and data from all that uh, all the the machine which is it, which is it is in employed so basically it collects all the data and present it to you whereas sore does uh more well does one extra thing that is it analyze the like suppose the ip is malicious and all so it uh, basically analyze from a third party source and then give a over overview of the incident to you so yeah that is what i said before that sore is like a better option than see okay got it uh, okay thank you so much for answering it uh now my next question to you is how important are the certification for soc analyst okay so like uh, uh personally i don't prefer certification because i prefer like knowledge and grow knowledge is what keeps helps you grow helps you grow in a in a in this field but yeah being a like being a fresher of course certification does play a play a important role uh, so that you can prove your worth in the organization which whichever you are giving your interview or whichever you are planning to go so yeah certification for a like fresher it does play a important role okay also uh, these days uh, there are websites like try hack me hack the box do you think that they are uh, quite beneficial for the people who are starting out yeah like definitely like whatever thing which, which helps you like uh, to increase your knowledge is always like helpful not like uh, these there are like many open source tools which like help you increase your knowledge so like i'm totally uh, uh, like in support for them also like for not only try hack me and hack the bug there are uh, other websites also let's defend and all so basically you have to like be curious about the be curious about like what you have to uh, like be curious to gain knowledge and all so okay. there are like lot of open source and also which is like really helpful for like people are like us okay i get it thanks okay so my next uh, my next question to you would be any certifications you would like to recommend yeah like uh, uh, for like being a fresher basically i would recommend uh, ccna uh, mm -hmm. for routing and switching as you get a pro basic overview of a network like what are D what is the what is a dns how a network traffic flows through a a channel and what are the protocols used so basically ccn is a like according to me is a must and then for uh, cyber security and all then you can go for sc900 ac az900 and then sc200 is like proper for a soc analyst sc200 is like proper like what we do is is all about sc200 like sc200 is all about what we do so basically okay uh, these four certifications is a like must to get a no round of a soc analyst sc200 deals with all the sentinel uh, right yeah yeah all the sentinel uh, all the md micro home defender for endpoint how like we analyze the uh, incident and all okay rule based access control basically are that okay got it thank you so much for answering that so my next question to you would be what do you think about security domain as a whole Ah, oh, security domain as a whole. So that's a nice question. So basically, uh, like, uh, I guess, like, according to me, uh, there's a lot of sp scope in this field. Basically, it is not a monotonous uh, seven to five, seven to five job. So basically, every day you got to see a new incident. How uh, like attacker use different tactics and techniques to techniques to like, uh, like to attack the network of a company and all. and basically with this uh, technology coming blockchain and also the scope is always on a rise so definitely if you are looking for it then definitely go for it okay also everything is like 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Everything is like go ill or like fine with in terms of money, in terms of knowledge. You will every like uh, you will be satisfied with all of that. Okay. Also, uh, like with V being in twenty twenty two. i think uh, we have heard web3 as a thing that is you know the next big thing that is coming everything is being blockchain enabled and what not and we know that everything is technology based so uh, people would be needed cyber security professionals would be needed to defend the infrastructure for all the companies out there what is yeah, your yeah. view on it like as uh, everything is moving on to cloud and also like companies need to defend their information they don't want uh, like uh, any information being leaked out to a, a malicious to a attacker and all so like as a whole this cyber security is like on a boom according to me like we have to be like just you have to be knowledgeable and you have to know what is going around in the world at this time and then you are like ready to go for it no worries okay i get it okay so one more thing uh, what what do you think is a you know dark side of being a sock analyst so well the only dark side i like i got to know so far is that we have to be like as we are the first line of defense so we have to be available 365 days into 24 hours so basically no off no like no festivals and also and rotational shifts basically we have to keep on working 365 days and 20 hours. So and that's the only thing I like consider this. This is a dark side of being a sock. But yeah, on the other hand, it is like quite interesting and uh, intriguing to investigate incidents and all. Okay, it is it is rewarding at the other end, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in terms of knowledge, in terms of money, everything is like being rewarded quite well. Okay, I get it. Okay. Thank you, Ankit, for providing your valuable inputs. I guess it uh, it is a uh, it is an eye opener for our viewers. If any of our viewers want to connect to Ankit, they can reach him out for maybe guidance, referrals, whatever uh, they wish to. The link is mentioned for the LinkedIn profile in the description box itself. Uh, Ankit, that would be fine, right? Yeah, yeah, sure, man, sure. always okay. need to help no worries okay thank you so much for supporting uh, community always yeah okay bye aditya thank you so much for having me okay thank you so much ankit